Hi everyone, this is Prema, working as Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to learn about Software Engineering, Basic Evaluation Impacts Life Cycles of a Software Engineering. Let's get into the slide. First, we are going to discuss about a software, uh, software engineering evaluation and impact. In uh, the early programmer used an exploratory programming style. In an exploratory programming style, every programmer himself evaluates his own software development technique solely guided by his institution, experience, whims and fancies. If we analyze evaluation of software development style over the past 50 years, a semantic representation of the technology development is shown in the figure. Next, we are going to discuss about program, programmer, uh, programs wise software product. Programs are developed by individual for, for their personal use. Software product have multiple user and therefore have a good user interface, proper user manuals and good documentation support. A software product consists not only the programming code but also of a also of all associated documents such as requirement specification document, the design document, the test document. A difference between program and software. A program is a small in size, whereas software is a large in size. In program, author itself uses soul. In software, there is a large team members. A single development, uh, developer in the program, but in software, there is a multiple development. It's a team developers. It adopt development. It's a systematic development. Lack proper interface, but software is a well-defined interface. Program, a large proper documentation is there. Software has a well, a well documented. These are the basic difference between program and software. So next we are going to see about software life cycle model. A software life cycle is the series of identifiable stages that a software product undergoes during its lifetime. The subsequent stages are requirement analysis and specification, design, coding, testing and maintenance. Each of these stages is called life cycle space. A software life cycle model is a descriptive and dramatic diagrammatic representation of the software life cycle. A life cycle model represents all the activities required to make a software product transist through, it, through its life cycle space. So next uh, slide we are going to see about a classical waterfall model. The classical waterfall model is introduced to the most obvious way to development software. The different phase of this models are feasibility studies, requirement analysis and maintenance. The different phase starting from the feasibility studies to the integration and systems uh, testing space are known as development space. The part of the life cycle model between the feasibility study and product testing and delivery is known as development part. At the end of the development part of the life cycle, the product becomes ready to be delivered to the customer. Next we are going to see about iterative waterfall model. The main changes brought about by the iterative waterfall model to the classical waterfall model is in the form of providing feedback passes from every space to its proceeding space. The feedback path also for a correcting errors committed by a programmer during some space as, well as when these are detected in the later phase. Next model is prototyping model. The prototype model is also a popular life cycle model. The prototyping model can be considered to be an extending of the waterfall model. The prototyping model suggests that before carrying out the development of the actual stuff, actual software, a working prototype of the system should be built. A prototype is a toy implementation system. A a prototype usually exhibit limited uh, functional capabilities, reliability and inefficient performance compa uh, compared to the actual software. A prototype is uh, usually built using several shortcuts. The next model is the spiral model. 
a spiral model has a four it's a iterative type it's a four uh, it has a four loop the first one is determine objectives and identify alternate solution and next loop is identify and resolve the risk and third one is develop next level two of the product and last one is review and plan for the next space the diagrammatic representation model appear like a spiral with many loop the exact number of loop a spiral is not fixed each loop of the spiral represent a space of software process first we are going to discuss about quadrant 1 the first quadrant identifies the objective space and alternative solution possible for a space under consideration the next one is quadrant 2 during second quadrant the alternate solution are evaluated to select the best solution possible for the so uh, chosen solution the potential risk are identified and dealt with by a developing an appropriate prototype and third quadrant, uh, quadrant consists of developing and verifying the next level of the product and fourth one is is the last quadrant reviewing the result and stage transfer so far with the customer and planning the next iteration round the uh, spiral in this model of development project team must decided how exactly to structure the project into space the spiral model can viewed as a, a meta model since sub, uh, submits all the discussed model